Hi, I'm back. Welcome back to Ask the Astronaut by Aquark. Winter is coming. Public pools are closing. Today we're going to introduce you four different pool heating ways so that you'll be able to select the most suitable one according to your needs. Gas heater, solar heater, electric resistance heater, and last but not least, the inverted pool heat pump. So let's rock it. Gas heater is a heater in which the combustion of gas is used as a source of heat. The unit pulls in the water, then the methane or natural gas is consumed, thus the heat power is delivered to the water. The advantage is that it heats the water fast via gas combustion and keeps a constant temperature even when the outside temperature is very low. The disadvantage is that it will consume lots of gas as well as money, especially when the gas price is getting more and more expensive. What's more, the combustion of gas will produce some harmful emissions, so it's not so friendly to our environment. Solar heater is a kind of heater that can transfer solar energy to heat through a solar collector and warm up your pool of water. Advantages, no harmful emissions, low maintenance and low operation costs. Yet it has transparent disadvantages such as very difficult installation, not working without sunshine, longest heating time and dumb designs. Electric pool heater is also called electric resistance heater. It generates heat from electric currents. Through the addition of a metal resistor or heating element that runs throughout the unit, electric resistance heaters are able to quickly convert electric energy into heat. As water flows through the system and over the heating element, it absorbs the heat and the heated water flows back into your pool. The cycle continues until the desired temperature is reached. Electric resistance heaters source heat from electricity. They can perform well regardless of the outside temperature and are ideal for fast intermittent pool heating. Also, it's cheap to buy and easy to install. And obviously, the disadvantage is it will cost tons of electricity. Not friendly with your purse, as well as the environment, and maybe some potential safety problems. Yes, it needs a little electricity to drive the compressor and fan, but most of the heat it produces is from ambient free air. Pool heat pump sources heat from surrounding air and transfer it to the water. Inside the heat pump are copper coils and we think those coils is the refrigerant R32. When heat that is pulled from the air comes into contact with the coils, the liquid refrigerant turns into gas and travels through a compressor to become high pressure, high temperature gas. The gas refrigerant goes through the titanium heat exchanger inside. Pool water around the copper coils will absorb the heat and its temperature therefore increases. You see, that's how a small amount of electricity can heat up a pool. And that's why pool heat pumps have a relatively high COP of around 5. Compared to gas heaters, pool heat pumps are more safe and eco-friendly. Compared to solar heaters, pool heat pumps are more convenient to install, heat up the water in short time, and won't be limited by weather. Compared to electric heaters, obviously, the advantages are that they are more suited for constant heating and more energy efficient. They are more eco-friendly and safer, with lower operation fees and longer product life cycle. 
While its general disadvantage lies in its higher front purchase fee, low performance at temperatures below minus 5 degrees Celsius, and noisy at around 50 to 70 decibels. If you live in the North Pole, maybe it's not your choice. Bonus! From the perspective of operation cost, temperature, design, and eco, we draw out a quick summer here. Some may wonder, can we work under extreme cold weather while being quiet? Well, you're so lucky today. We have our final killer option, Inverpad Turbo Pool Heat Pump. By first applying turbofan in the pool heat pump industry, Aqua has rolled out an inverter heat pump that can make zero mechanical noise and generate a sound of only 38.4 decibels. That's 20 times quieter than traditional on-off heat pumps. What's more, it can operate at minus 15 degrees Celsius up to 43 degrees Celsius, perfectly taking the place of gas heaters and electric resistance heater. Also, it preserves the advantages of Aqua's first Inverpad tech, COP up to 16 and twice more energy saving. Heating effective, quiet perfectly, and adaptive in four seasons, that's the right heat pump for now and the future. From these pool heating tips, you can easily which one suits you the most. And if you're still confused, no worries. Simply subscribe to our YouTube channel and meet our next sizing guide episode. Or you can just like this video, leave a comment, and we'll send an expert to help.